And here we are with another abandoned game. This one is called the Temple of the Flying Saucers or Chamber of the Psy Mutant Priestess. My name is Sam and we're gonna play a little bit through this game. And there you have the Master's Orbit and the Master grants you an object. Well, this is a goblet. With every different object, you're gonna be solving a different task for each room of the orbit. And once you get uh, the task solved, then you uh, get a skull in return. And once you get all the skulls, uh, giving them back, you basically reach the end of the game, which you think it's going to be great, but it's actually going to be your death. This is only because there's a twist in the game that you will be have to go through in order to reach the real end of the game. But anyway, I'm not going to spoil that. Here we are in the twins' room. Um, this is the room in which you will need... Um, the goblet in order to solve the task and there we have it we got in this room uh, two serpents and then we got two other doors one to the source and one to this other room who will be saved but not accessible yet so we go to the source and we read the inscription one will drink, the other eat, and the passerby passes. I really think he's talking about the serpents in the other room. And since I already played this game it's a long time ago, I'm pretty sure about that. Uh, now the source. We're gonna inspect it. And he's talking about an eye. Then we're gonna inspect it again and there is an eye there. Press the eye, we got the water. And we're gonna fill the goblet with the water. Um, which one is that? It's gonna be a yeah, fair goblet. Okay. Then we go to the other room. Open a serpent's mouth. And we're gonna fill um, the serpent with the water. So it's gonna be uh, empty. Right there. Water fills the serpent to the very brim. A small die floats on the surface of the water. And there we have it. We pick up the die, and as the inscription says, we're gonna feed the other one. So we're gonna open his mouth again. Put in. The die disappears down the serpent straw, and we got finally the room unlocked. There we have a bunch of hands and the serpent's head. We're gonna inspect that and we read something, I believe. Um, yeah. Let's see. Yes. There's an inscription. The passerby saves some then makes his choice known to the sliding one's head. I guess again that means, and I'm pretty sure about that, um, we get to raise some of the hands below us. He says some of them. So I don't know, I'm gonna raise this one. Lift. And this one. And then press the serpent's head. There you go. And we're gonna read the engraving. Yeah. A star is engraved in the stone. Okay, so what does it mean? That means something really important. We go to the other room. And now finally you got few cubes here that before we didn't have. Now they're popping out. We have to inspect all of them and fire the one with the star engraved on it. This one is uh, 
a cross. That's not the one. Circle, not the one. Triangle, nope. Whatever. This one is the star. Finally, we're gonna lift it and we find the skull. And finally, we got the skull. And it's all the first task of the game. Now, it might seem an easy task, but I, I'm telling you, you'll find death very easily in this game. Then you go back to the Master's Orbit, and we give back the scroll we just got. Where is it? Give. Okay, and I'm gonna tell you very good, and you can trade your old object for a new one right there with the trader and you can start a new task again and uh, little by little solve all the tasks now this game for me is a great game it was a part of my childhood and I really like it I hope you like it too you don't find it too weird um, as I said again it might look easy because I know what to do but it's not like so Please like the video if you do like it, comment below, subscribe if you want to see more. And if you have any requests of me playing another game, uh, let me know. Of course, uh, I'll be glad to do that if I can. Thank you very much for watching the video and uh, as of now, goodbye.